She's like, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why they fought. I said, what you mean? Why they fought? She's like, yeah, they fought yesterday. And they're fired. I had to fire them. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole here. If y'all new, smash that subscribe button. If y'all returning, hey, girl. Just to address the noise, that is rain. I am sitting outside in my car, you know, in my neighborhood, and it's pouring down raining, y'all. So it got worse. It wasn't like this when I first left the house. I didn't bring no umbrella or anything. This is what I have. So I kind of don't feel like getting soaked right now. So I said, you know what? Instead of me like rushing in the house to try to do my makeup and do all this, try to tell this story time, let me just sit here, finish smoking, and go ahead and tell y'all real quick because it's really not a long story. It was a job that I worked at, and I'm going to name the two women, Brianna and Rochelle, okay? Rochelle was the one that I really, really liked, okay? I was very interested in her. I was like... I didn't want to like be with her type of situation but she i just was ch i was chasing her i was chasing her like i wanted i just wanted her to talk to me basically right um so when i first started working there i was very interested in rochelle like from the moment i met her so it i'm not like i'm not like a pushy pushy type of person i just be myself like um and i might flirt with you you know i might kind of flirt with you that's how you know like i like you I draw people into me I, I it's hard for me to explain it but I do be drawing people into me and when I like you you're gonna you're gonna know that I like you without me having to say look I like you I don't have to do all that you're gonna know that I like you and then I don't know it's like the way I approach it the way I do it is just it's smooth you feel <laughs> <laughs> it's smooth basically working my magic you feel when I first met her like she I could tell she just she just she wasn't paying me no mind but she would entertain me type shit like she'll entertain me all day but she wasn't she knew that I know she knew that I like what well, she told me because basically long story short with that of me constantly like you know making it my business to like say something to her or you know joke around with her or whatever at the job um she eventually like fed into my shit like she fed into my shit and i knew i had i was like i got her she started feeding into it so um at that point i ended up getting her number you know so we were texting we worked together but it was just like I, when we was at work nobody knew or anything it's not like we was hiding it i don't think nobody really cared to like you know cared to like figure out if like we were like talking to each other or not nobody gave a fuck you know i think that's why i think i don't really know but i don't i never heard nobody say oh y'all you know somebody bringing it up at the job like y'all fuck around with each other nobody said that nobody gave a fuck for real so um i feel like because i didn't really pay it on mine but i feel like once i started like i don't know i feel like maybe brianna noticed that me and rochelle was like you know talking to each other a lot more she started talking to me a lot more brianna she started talking to me a lot more so you know whatever I, I started to get to know her too at the job so we kind of became close but it was on some like the crazy thing about this whole thing is brianna used to flirt with me right i didn't like brianna like that but she used to flirt with me and i could tell she used to do me how i was doing um rochelle like literally like she the same way she the same way as i am that's why i didn't really like her i don't like when it comes to women, I don't like masculine women. She didn't dress masculine or anything. Like, she wasn't a tomboy. She was, like, she looked like how, you know, like how I dress. You know, I dress, I still like a woman. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time. And, I'm not saying, like, I look like a dude, y'all, but you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, bitch, what are you talking about? Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I dress feminine. Okay, I wear heels and shit like that, but you know i just my personality can be sometimes on like the masculine side like how i talk how i even just do things you know in my real life everyday life like how i move and stuff it's you know i've been told it's masculine i could tell like i have more masculine ways than feminine ways so anyway she was like that she dressed feminine but she just you know she just i could just tell you could just tell you know what i'm saying when you talking to somebody that has masculine features a woman 
you could just tell that that's what's going on with them. <laughs> like, their mindset is a little different. You know what I'm saying? And she was like that. I wasn't attracted to that. I'm not. She's pretty though. Both of them pretty, but I, I just didn't like. I ain't like her like that. Rochelle was feminine. Rochelle was feminine. Rochelle's the type. She try to act like she tough. Not saying she not, but she 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 try to put on that hard persona so hard. But deep down, she was just like like real sweet the sweetest person you know and i understand just from we used to text and stuff so just getting to know her and understanding like why she got that basically like she got that wall up type of like demeanor for real uh i get it you know i get it i understand i understood her you know but anyway so me and brianna started to like you know build like a friendship as well we was texting and stuff too you know what i'm saying and she just always was flirting with me i always ignored it until one day i said we was texting right and she sent me a picture y'all <laughs> she sent me a picture of herself you know one of them like like a sexy picture and i said what you sent me this for like what do you send me this for I, and so i just let her know like i said i know you like i feel like you like me like me but i don't like you like that I was like, you keep trying to pursue. She said, yeah, I know, because you like Rochelle. I was like, oh, I just laughed. I sent her LOL. You know, we texted. I said, "You, that's what you think? And she said, yeah, I know that. She said, like, I feel like that's what what it is. She was like, nobody had to tell me. I could tell y'all like each other. I could tell or oh, whatever. Right? So I said, okay, it's cool, it's cool, whatever, it's cool, right? That conversation was over. We still, we still talked, but I know that she got like a little distant from me. And this is Brianna I'm talking about. Brianna got a little distant from me after that conversation, you know. But she still was like, she wasn't acting no type of way. She just like shortened her conversations with me or, you know, it just became less of her. I was so stuck on Rochelle. I didn't care. You know, I ain't, I wasn't paying her. I wasn't paying. Like I had other stuff going on. I wasn't, I ain't really care for real. So one day Rochelle hit me like, so we at work. This what happened. We at work and... Brianna started acting real fucked up towards Rochelle. Mind y'all, I didn't know that they had a thing going on. I never did. Like, they barely talked to each other for real at work. So, I didn't know they had a thing going on in the past. Like, nobody informed me of this. So, they, like, get to arguing and shit. And they, I can hear they, they just arguing. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm like trying to be nosy. But at first, like, I was trying to be nosy until, like, some other employees was coming. Like, it basically, they was in a break room, y'all. Not the back room, the break room. They was in a break room, and I was getting ready to go to the break room, and I hear them arguing. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck going on? They in there about to fight. They was like, it wasn't like like a, a yelling match type of argument, but you can hear them like back and forth, back and forth. And I was kind of like trying to be nosy, but I really couldn't catch what the fuck was going on for real. Like, I, I, I came in at a time where I didn't know what they were talking I didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. You know what I'm saying? And somebody walked up and they get ready to go in the break room. So I'm like, fuck, I'm going to just go in the break room. You know what I'm saying? Because it just looked like I'm just standing and lit I'm at the door like trying to see what the fuck they talking about. So I go in there and I say, I'm like, I heard y'all. Y'all in here fighting? Like, what's going on? Because I know both of You know, I know both of them. I was been cool with both of them. But I assumed that they didn't really fuck with each other like this. So I said, what's going on with y'all? And... Brianna said, well, we are going back and forth over you. Like, Brianna was a, she blunt. You know what I'm saying? She ain't really, like I said, she remind me of myself, literally. Like, I could not fuck with her. Like, <laughs> she blunt as fuck. She like, um, she said, what the fuck? <laughs> she said, she said, we arguing over you. You know that? And I said, y'all arguing over me for what? Brianna was like, well, ask Rochelle. She get up and leave. Like, just, I'm like, nah, what? Like, what is it? Like, what are y'all talking about? Like, are you over me? What do I do? You know, I'm laughing. I'm I'm laughing. Sometimes, like, when I first get into, like, little situation, I'm just so, I don't know what's going on. I'll laugh because I'm like, y'all got to be playing with me for real. Like, I was like, over me? What do I do? So, I'm up on her. I'm asking her, like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, what, what's the problem? She like... She getting mad at me because Rochelle, like, she getting mad at me because she talking about I shouldn't be talking to you. And I said, why not? This one, she told me that they had a thing going, like, they actually dated or something, and they was, like, dating. And I was like, oh, I didn't know y'all was dating. She was like, yeah, that's why 
So I was like, I didn't know y'all was dating. She was like, yeah, that's why we just, we ain't, we don't talk to each other like that because we was beefing, you know. She was like, we was beefing at one point. But she was like, I think she still loved me. She still in love with me. She still in love with me. And I was just like, oh my, I was like, I never knew. I said, neither one of y'all never say anything. I said, I text her. I like, I text her, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, yeah, I know. Now, the, here's the thing. Because I was texting, I don't know why. When I was texting Rochelle, right, just when I first started texting Rochelle, and then from the moment when I first started, like, texting Brianna, I never mentioned to neither one of them that I was talking to. You know what I'm saying? I never said, like, oh, I'm texting, you know, me and, Bri like, me and Brianna. Like, I never told Rochelle, like, me and Brianna, we got each other numbers and we text now. I never mentioned that. I didn't feel like I had to. You know what I'm saying? They see us everybody see who we you know we socialize with at work like people see that i socialize with her rochelle saw that just like brianna always saw that i socialize with rochelle like y'all saw that you know what i'm saying so i didn't I, it was nothing hidden for me i didn't have to mention so anyway rochelle like well she just told me that y'all text like y'all talk to each other outside she said why you didn't tell me that i said so basically i'm like i didn't think i had to would i why why'd i have to because y'all don't fuck with each other I could tell they ain't fuck with each other like that. Not like on no beef shit, but they never really talk to each other at work. So I just assume that they don't fuck with each other. So why would I, I don't have to tell you that. To me, that's like, that's like, sound like starting drama. Cause I just low key felt like they were, it ba she basically confirmed what the fuck was going on. Okay. Y'all were dating and y'all don't really, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, however y'all broke up, y'all not really cool with each other like that. So it confirmed that I didn't need to know what was the reason. I just knew like the way that they interact with each other at work. I'm like, they don't fuck with each other. So I'm not going to mention to Rochelle. Oh, I'm now I'm texting. It just, they kind of sound like drama. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't ever mention. I said, I ain't never. So I explained that to Rochelle. I said, I don't, I didn't think that I had to mention that. You know, why would I have to mention y'all ain't cool with each other? And I said, you just confirmed it, you know? And she's like, okay, I mean, I see what you're saying, but she don't want me talking to you or whatever. I said, do she own you? Like, what's, like, y'all not dating, right? No more? Like, y'all completely done it over. Y'all not dating. Right? So she like, I mean, yeah, but I still love her. So I said, oh, okay. In my head, I'm like, okay, now I'm not fucking with you no more. Like, I, I don't think I should fuck with you no more, period. Like, uh, but I ain't say shit. It just, in my head, I was kind of like, mm, like, okay, yeah, this gonna be a problem. <laughs> this gonna be a fucking problem. I said, if y'all wanna fuck with each other, go ahead and do your thing. So, later on that night, we that conversation was dead over. We just all kind of didn't really talk to each other that day. We always worked on the same shift. Not all the time, but most of the time, we all had the same shift, you know. So, but I was just like, um... I ain't really talking to them that the rest of that day i just didn't really say anything so i was like i'm gonna just leave them alone or whatever just leave them alone because i was hurt i was so hurt i'm like uh-uh i can't even talk to this girl no more so fast forward that day that same um we worked during the day so that evening that night they both were texting me at the same time they both were texting me at the same time like talking about each other they was talking about each other, not in like a horrible way. It was just more so of like, they talking about the conversation they had that day and all this shit. And I'm just like, okay, at this point, y'all gonna have to leave me out of it. Y'all gonna, y'all gotta leave me out of it because it's like they were talking to each other as well. So they texting each other and then both of them texting me. And at times, Rochelle ended up FaceTiming me at one point and then, so it was like, we were all talking to each other but you know what i'm saying so i was just like okay yeah i told both of them i said i told both of them, i said i don't i told um brianna i said look i don't like you like that i don't know what's going on with y'all two but maybe y'all should like work it out get it get back together or whatever like stop trying to like don't flirt with me you know what i'm saying just stop you know I was like, I'm going to just, you know, let's go to work and just go to work and do our job and just, that's what I had to tell both of them this shit, like, let's just go to, because it was getting too fucking messy. I'm talking about names are being called at this point and shit like that. Like, at first it was cool. They wasn't really, like, going on each other and stuff, but they, they it was, I could just tell whatever they had, they never told me what really happened in their relationship and why they broke, like, why they broke up, why it was a big old thing and all that. I didn't know. So... I just didn't know. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So, 
they just like is it the thing about it though they constantly were bringing me up in the situation they were bringing me up in a situation they just kept saying like um Rochelle kept saying like I want to date you like she want to fuck with me but she can't because of this that and the third is gonna keep causing problems we all work together you know just that whole big old thing I said yeah I ain't trying to get involved with all of this because we do work together at the end of the day like we might fuck around and get to fighting one day right I done jinxed the whole thing I'm telling Rochelle I said we all fuck around and ain't gonna be getting to fighting one day or something because you know y'all know how they go like it sound it's small at first but then it can grow that drama shit can grow, you know, and get worse. And then it's just like other stuff going to play a part in it. I just try to nip that shit in the bud right then and there. I said, look, I'm just going to stop talking to y'all. We go to work. Just like, just chill on me. Like, I'm out of it. Y'all got too much going on. So, the next, I was off the next day, right? I was off the next day. Apparently, them two came to work. I didn't know. I wasn't clocking their schedule. So, them two came to work together i was off like whatever on that schedule when they say that i'm off i'm off. i don't care who come into work that day i always just look at who come in when i'm working <laughs> you know how that go so i didn't know they came into work so i ain't hitting up the whole day i don't live i lived my life that day you feel me the next following day i had to go to work i went in the manager first thing they come uh, so the first thing when i came in that day the manager wanted me to come to her and when i came to her the first thing she said was, she said, what did you start? I said, what? What What you mean? She like, what did you start between Brianna and Rochelle? And I said, I ain't start nothing. I'm like, what are you talking about? Tell me what you talking about so I can help you understand what's going on with them. Because I knew what was going on with them. I knew they were just beefing, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, you tell me what's like what you heard, basically. So she going through the rundown. She like, let's talk around the job. At this point, I'm like, oh, okay. So everybody was kind of like knowing. In my head, I'm thinking nobody kind of knew that me and Rochelle was, you know, flirting with each other and stuff like that. I never like openly, like we never openly like flirted with each other. Again, it wasn't like no hidden thing. It was just... The, it, I don't know, it's just, I guess, the context of how I'm talking, you know, to her and how she's talking to me. Because sometimes we will be around other co-workers and we just like saying, I don't know, I guess, y'all, I guess everybody, everybody just knew that we were flirting with each other and stuff like that. I'm just assuming people just don't care. They just mind their business. The whole time people was talking about us behind our back. Not, I, I don't think in a bad way, just like saying like, oh, they fuck with each other and ex whatever else. Like, I don't even know. But she was like, yeah, it's just talk around the job that y'all, you know. She said that it's talking around the job that you are messing with Rochelle and you messing with Brianna. I said, I'm not messing with Brianna. So she was like, you mess with Rochelle. I said, not anymore, no. But I said, yeah, we was talking. I said, but what, like... What do that have to do with the job? I'm like, we ain't, like, we do our job and stuff. She's like, I'm not saying that. She's like, you not fired or anything. She's like, I'm not, like, trying to, she's like, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why they fought. I said, what you mean? Why they fought? She's like, yeah, they fought yesterday. And they're fired. I had to fire them. And she was upset that she had to fire them. You know, she was like, they are good workers, but they tore this place down. She was like, I had to, I had to fire them. You know, like people over her head, um, you know, they forced her to fire them because it, it was a mess, right? They tore the place down. And I was like, damn. I was like, okay. So they were fighting over me. Is that what they told you? And she was like, no, nah, they, she, they was telling like what was going on. But she said when it came all down to it, it was me. Like, it was because of me, you know? Like, I came into the picture. I'm like, okay, you you mean I started that job? Like, I started this job. I didn't know that they knew each other or was dating each other. I didn't find out until, like, they get to arguing one day in the break room. I'm like, they was arguing, and I asked, you know, what was going on. And then, then I found out. I was like, I didn't even know. I was like, they wasn't talking to each other. She said, yeah, they wasn't dealing with each other at all. It was peaceful. They ain't, it was no drama, no... They were like holding back emotions. Whatever, when they broke up or whatever the case was, they didn't really, they just broke, they just stopped talking to each other. They had come to where they wasn't saying nothing to each other and it was like that for a long time. Like they just never, 
I guess got closure with the situation. Then I came into the picture and now I'm like, like talking to them, you know, one, I didn't, I wasn't talking to her like that. One was really a friend. One, it was a friend, but I liked her. Like she liked me though. She liked me too. And we were kind of like talking to each other, you know, trying to get to know each other still. Like it wasn't on no, like we didn't do anything with each other at this point. We didn't like, you know, it didn't get to that point yet like where i took a row or anything it didn't get to that point it just wasn't it, it didn't make it because they were just beefing like i couldn't deal with that like i'm not about to be in the middle of whatever y'all got going and y'all was dating each other i could see if they was two friends like two ex-friends or something nah they were dating you know they 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 were intimate with each other stuff like that like i didn't know all this you know anyway so you know, my manager's just going on and on about it. And she was just like, they, yeah, they were in here rumbling. Like, rumbling. Like, they were fighting real bad. And security, it was only one security guard that we had. That he was trying his heart. He old, too. The security guard we had working there. He's so old. But he managed to get them apart. I could just imagine, like, them... And they, the way their personalities and stuff and how they were so upset with each other when they was texting me. I could just tell that not even like it's not even like hate type situation they love each other i could tell like they love each other in the way that they were just like going back before going back before i'm like y'all still y'all still love each other so i really had to like step up out of that jam but yeah so we had a conversation so she's like you're not fired or anything because at the end of the day they grown they need to control themselves and they couldn't control themselves like they had warnings before they got into a full physical altercation they had warnings of because they was arguing you know they had warnings about you know chill out chill out just throughout the day but they just at, at some point somebody um i got the full story from a co-worker y'all so i'm a fast forward we talk I, our conversation was over with me and the manager so um because she pulled me in her office in the beginning of the shift you know like right after i clocked in she pulled me in the office so when i went to go um you know figure out who i was working with I'm talking to another co-worker and she like, man, she said, I was here yesterday. And she said, they kept bringing, they kept saying stuff about you. They like during like, their whole fight, like they kept saying stuff about you, how, um, yo, they, it, it got so, it was messy. It was messy because they were like verbally out loud talking about stuff that like Rochelle was basically saying stuff that me and her was talking about through our text messages, just like putting my business out there. You know what I'm saying? Like telling it wasn't like it was like business between me and her not my own personal business y'all but it was like business between me and her like just stuff that i was like saying to her you know what i'm saying and stuff she was saying to me like um there was times where, like you know like pictures was exchanged stuff like that you know we was like i thought i thought we were like you know really get to know each other but i felt like once i was hearing all of this and i'm like oh they what she said what she said what like they were saying this and that like damn that's crazy you know what i'm saying i was feeling some type of way i was like damn i was like at the end of the day rochelle ain't fuck with me like how i thought i knew i didn't really like brianna like that but i thought we were cool we was building a friendship but they y'all two were like bro it probably started with rochelle fed into what i was giving her after a while because she wasn't even like on my line at first but she she fell into that because she was trying to make Brianna jealous. You know, you get what I'm saying? So you use me for that. And I'm thinking like we, you know, we kind of like each other, but it wasn't like that. And um, anyway, so they giving me the rundown. They was like, they was in here beating the shit out of each other. They was like, um, she was like, Brianna, Brianna tossed Rochelle over the counter and just was going in on her shit. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, so, okay. So in my head, I'm like, Rochelle got beat up that's what i'm getting out of this like she got beat up for real um i'm like dang i can't believe they fought i can't believe they fought they that mad at each other again i don't know what occurred really in their relationship and why they were so mad at each other somebody betrayed somebody you know but yeah they 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 were rumbling so anyway after that i just they were fired like i said they were fired and um it was it, it created a lot of changes at the job you know like because they had to find other people to replace them, et cetera, et cetera. But they were fired. And I didn't talk to them. Like, I blocked both of them 
from my phone. I didn't talk to them since then, but it's like we caught up with each both of them. We caught back up with each other, like just through social media and just never really it never carried on. I feel like we all knew like don't don't fuck with me. I'm not gonna fuck with you. We could be social media friends, you know, or whatever. Like you could like my post, I like your post, I might comment, respond to your post, and you respond to my type of situation. But other than that, other than that, I don't, I'm not like, th that was, you know, you know, that's just another situation where it's like somebody put me in the middle of something that I don't need to be in type drama. So anyway, that's the end of the story time. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And I will see y'all in my next upload.